we elaborated on the topic of the order book. So we discussed what does mean order book and how broker and uh, traders can deal with that. But now the following question was received and the question is about slippage because many of the brokers, they use this terminology, they use this wording slippage in order to kind of justify the weakness or disadvantage of the order book. You know, many traders, they use this terminology uh, and uh, they, for them, this slippage term is more about negative side of the market. So can you elaborate on this? What does mean in reality slippage? How this slippage actually does a cure and uh, how to deal with it? And what, 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 what actually to do? So the term slippage, I think is a misperception out there that has been created over the years. Whenever you send an order to market, don't forget, there's gonna be market impact. There's gonna be price fluctuations. The fact that you trade from a terminal and you see a price at a given second verb, I mean, uh, visually, it doesn't guarantee that that price will exist and will be executed price once you submit your order. Because we have to take into account, normally most people connect through the internet publicly. Therefore, you have a delay. Yeah. The, which means that price, especially on some of the terminals like latency, connectivity latency. Absolutely. So you already have a change in price in place. Another thing that I see quite frequently is some of this software, some of these trading platforms cannot absorb enough data, which means enough price updates. Therefore, you don't see that the price has changed on time. And most importantly, and what I always say to people, always take into account the type of the size of that order and the time of the day in which you're sending your order. If you're sending an order during news, that's not slippery. That's a market fluctuation that is natural at any given moment. Because the market movements at that uh, news time so fast, it's and, uh, the, the platform just cannot perform. That's where I think the misperception comes along. Now, when you're dealing with a large clip size and the market moves in a certain direction that most people consider against themselves, that's probably what I think or we know as liquidity consumption. What does it mean liquidity consumption? You have an order size that is substantial. You absorb liquidity, which means you sweep to the order book. That depth of the market was there but the base on your order size, you may sweep the entire liquidity at that moment. That's not slippage in the real liquidity space. It's a market, it's a market impact. So you see, it's about perception. It's about understanding the difference between actual impact in the market versus the term of slippage. Of course, we've heard there are softwares out there that yeah. are implemented, but that's a different topic. So, but you know, John, I would point out here that from the trader side, it's, it's very important to find that broker who doesn't use this kind of software that can cause some delays and create that slippage. But another type of the brokers who are running the normal fair brokerage business, what basically in that case, it's not a slippage, it's a market impact. And uh, when you hit the orders, when you send the, especially market orders to the market, you have to take, take in account that there is behind the price, what you can see visually, there is the order book. And uh, depends on your order size, you will receive market impact. I see a lot of cases, uh, or we hear a lot of cases where customers look at a price or what we know in the software like MetaQuotes that has a top of the book. That's what the broker is displaying to you. You send an order which is pretty large in size and the expectation is that that price that you saw 
is the price where you're gonna get filled at, which is totally inaccurate. You always need to look at the depth of that book in order to understand and assess the impact of your order. Okay, John, thank you very much. And uh, guys, enjoy your trading. Be careful with the terminology. You always have to know all the details behind the deal, behind the order. You have to understand how the market works. So you have to understand the concept of the capital markets in a sense. So that's why, thank you very much. Thank you, John. Pleasure. Thank you.